Hello, welcome to Planting of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of Stormstrike, the uh, box set that's got all the easy to build uh, kits in that came out today. Today uh, or last week? When every single one came out, about four, four easy to kits, eight build kits out. They're all in here at a cheaper price. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, so, this is the if you are just starting out and you've, you perhaps you've read the Collect Build Play book and you want to go further, this is your first step into the uh, actual playing of Age of Sigmar mm -hmm. uh, where it will give you two mini mini forces <laughs> to actually play with mm -hmm. uh, which again is the, the easy to build sets um, so, then the next one is the larger box set isn't it? The Tempest of Souls Tempest is the next one but this is this one so uh, this should contain um, all your dice, war scrolls that you need, a range ruler, playing mat uh, three of these sequitters, three castigars, one griffhound, four glaive wraith stalkers, and four uh, mim 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 morn banshees. Is it mim? Mirin. Mirin morn. My morn. My morn. I don't know. I don't know. There you go. So that's what's contained in there. Uh, the banshees are awesome models, by the way. That's. Mm. That's one of the reasons why to grab this because the, the easy to build kits have been sold out since the game. Yeah. And are really cool. Um, right, so let's stop talking and see what's in this box. Um, so we have a box from the box. So this is kind of like the 40k one. Is that um, something strike? That was plague strike, I don't know. Uh, but we have a box in a box, and this box also uses terrain mm -hmm. during the game. I think we've opened it upside down, so voila. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. So you get a ruler in there as well, which is handy. Um, and get the next steps. Next steps. Cards. We've got the transfers for the stone casts, and we have a mat, which is similar to the uh, the big 4x4 uh, four four playing uh, neoprene mat that we've got. Yep. Same sort of print that's on that. Uh, we have the, the books. How to build. And up colored plastic here. So we have gold colored plastic for the stone casts. There we go. And we have that sort of gloomy, greeny, bluey, grey, all thrown in colour for the night. Um, and, uh, now we have a few little dice. So everything you need to start playing basically. Um, so in here you've got the stone strike. So we'll see more of that in a minute. What else have we got? The core rules. Copy of the core rules, exactly the same as in the main box. We've got two copies on there, one each. We've got a copy of the what's in there, the, so the little cards. So the war scrolls. And we have a unique storm strike book. I say unique, it's got storm strike on the front. No idea what's in this. Um, getting started by itself. Age of Sigma. Uh, World of Legends. Let's go turn the pages for us. Yep. miniatures. Again. It's got a fresh book smell. Yeah. Mm. Stormcast Eternal is a bit about them. Yeah. A bit more about Legions of Death. Yeah. I think this has got a bit more in than the... It's a step I'd up from the start. Yeah. yeah I did that. Yeah. I've already done some of the same stuff in. Yeah, because she doesn't need a coat and stuff. Yep, yeah. shading, layering, dry brushing, facing and glazing. And um, that's, that's in the start set. Yeah. Oh, we'd have a... Uh, How to paint the... The Mimorn. Yeah. Mimorn, Mimorn. And the Secretors and the yeah. Slave Wraith Stalkers. Yep. Some nice pictures of them. Yep. Start playing, so how to play the game on the map that you've got. Yep. Surrounded. So there's actually like a step by step playthrough in here as well. Yeah. Which is similar to First Strike? First yeah, Strike. First Strike, that was it, yeah. yeah. There we go. Well done. Came back to me. And then we've got the next steps on what to do, yeah. what to collect next. About the realms of war. war. Vengeance. Azir. 
So this is the history at the back. Um, probably just this is all flavour stuff to keep you interested after you bought this box. Um, getting to continue getting involved in the law and invested in the game. Quite a little stories, isn't it? Yeah, and so, some of this stuff's also in was in the um, the main box set. The second edition. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, and that's it. That's it. So again, that's another little handy book. Um, keeps you interested. Uh, so, it's cool you get the War Scroll cards as well. Mm. Um, get the one for Griffins. Oh, Banshees, Deathlet Heroes. Um, Oh, yeah. and you get like another Grim Hail. Ah! And Astria Soulbright in there as well. Oh, right. So, so they're too easy to build kits. That aren't in this, but you but could then can... go out and. But then that's sort of like tempting you to go and get it, isn't it? Yeah. I need a model order you want. And so. I would like that other model as well. Well, maybe next month. Maybe next month. Well, yeah. you guys will know because we'll be unboxing another the chance. <laughs> so. Uh, let's put these dudes together, and these bases are awesome again. Mm. Um, oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> these bases are really nice. Right, so. We're starting with the Super 2 with Stormstrike Malls. So on to the gold sprues. Uh, we need part one, two, and three. And then we need part five, which is the shield, part six, which is the base, and that's it. That's the first one. So let's get all these parts off. In fact, we might get all the parts off, tidy them up, and then we'll come back and put them together. Okay, so we have the models uh, off the sprues, ready to go. Uh, this first one, the uh, Prime, has two options with it. I have one with a mask on and one with the mask off. Mm -hmm. And what's she going for? The one with the helmet off. You have one with the yeah. helmet off. Yeah. So you're going for this one, which is part two. So that's just going to go in there. Um, I am going to glue this in, like I said, but that's going to go on there. So let's do that. I will be humming to myself. Frequently <laughs> while doing this. Yeah. Assume that's right. It seems to fit in. Yeah, so that goes on there. Yeah, good. And then part four goes over the front of that. So that's got three. Is it three or just two? Two prongs. One there, one there. So one goes under there, one goes onto the shoulder. I don't know they're going to go on that. Like so. Spare bit. And then the next bit is just the shield. Which is the shield arm. And just kind of holding on to the top of the shield. So that's just has a little plug on there. Which is going to go into the. Uh, into the hole there on the arm. I just need to take a little bit of stuff off that because I missed the plug. It's very important to make sure there's nothing off the sprue on the end of something like that because it's not going to go into the, into the socket properly. That's when things aren't going to start lining up. There's also a little bit there on our elbow that needs to come off as well. See that? Um, let's get on the base first. So our base is there, and it goes that way around, I think. That goes in there. Yeah, because there's an extra little bit of a plug there, which also is something on. Let me just take that out of there. See, sometimes, if you don't look at them properly, it's only when you start putting them together you're realising they've got bits of sprue left on important parts. And normally you wouldn't, you'd have to wait for the model to dry in, and then start clipping bits off or it's fall to bits. But these easy to build kits, because um, they're plugged together, 
not having to wait for the glue to really dry that much. It shows that they will sort of stick together without the glue, but I like to be sure. There she is. Cool. There is the first prime. Nice. One might say Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. Mm. I wouldn't, because that'd be stupid. Uh, so seven and eight is next. Um, okay, so it's like that bit goes in there and that bit goes on there. Yep. So it's like we're aiming for the middle of the three sockets. On this guy. So. Pretty much like that. By the looks of it. Just make sure those arms line up. It's not doing for some reason. I just want to start looking for bits that I've missed. It just needs pushing in a bit further, I think. That's all it is. Yeah, it just needs a little bit more force on it than the other parts have so far, just to push that centre pin right in there. Um, but it went in. Uh, next up we have the front of the body, let's put that bit on. And that goes in the two remaining sockets at the front. Like so, that's when you know that you've put the other bit on correct or not. <laughs> so that fits on. Um, then we have the shield, which is going to go on where the hand is. Like that. And then let's put him on the base. So he stood with sort of white walking down some steps basically on this one. I do like these bases. They're really nice, aren't they, kind of thing, mm. rather than just being plain. Mm. There we go, yep. done. Let's get the second guy down. On to the third. And we have... It's like a larger second section on this one. It's like those two parts are going to go together. So I'll put all the glue in each of those. And leave that one for now. So that's just going to go on there, like so. And then we have the front part, um, which has two holes in the front there. And you go. So this one's going to be a bit of. There we go, we're in. And then that leaves the double handed mace this guy's got. I'll just tidy that bit up on top. Because it's easier to do the weapons now because they're on such thin stems. That's something you really need to make sure is tidy before you put them on. It's really hard to get. Because you see how brittle that is. If you start trying to put some force on that, that's going to snap. Not that you can't screw it back together, but it's just a pain. It does that. And go on, and you go. We're getting a musical as well. <laughs> I try not to do that. I normally do that when I stick stuff together, like I said in previous videos. You don't normally get to see me actually stick it like this. Mm. It's just because this is easy to build, I can do it quite quickly anyway. So we're not stood here just staring at it to dry, waiting for it to dry. Um, again, it looks like he's walking down some steps, doesn't it? So we want that on that. And that fits into the. Like that. There's a groove for that to slot into. There he is. Cool. Those are your three secretors. They're very nice models actually. They are. Especially for an easy build kit. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. So I've got one with a shield and is it storm mole, and then one with a double-handed storm mole. So you got one of each. 
three on each there, there, yeah. And then you've got the, the prime. The prime, well. obviously, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that fits in with what you've already got. It basically. does, yes. yeah. Right. So that's the first three. Mm -hmm. Second three stone casts with pine. Mm -hmm. Um We've got part two and one and three, four and five, make up that one, seven, eight, six, nine, ten, twelve, thirty, uh, eleven, the fourteen, fifteen, and the Griff found is seventeen, nineteen, sixteen, and part eighteen. So I'll just do the same again, we'll get all the parts off, cleaned up as well, best as I can, and then we'll um stick them together. Okay, so here we have all the parts. So part two and part um sorry that's part two that's part three that's just confusing me and the head needs to go on first on this one because it's got one of those little l shape clips so that needs to fit in there and then the other part of the body's going to go on the front so i don't like it, these little head bits because they can wobble a bit that's why i definitely want to put some glue on that um i mean the fine one you yeah. And the glued in. I just don't want to leave it unglued. And then we have uh, the other arm, which is part four, which is holding his helmet. And now it just goes on the. Make sure that's in at the right angle. There we go. And then we have his ankles there because he's got two little pegs there. And that's him done. So that's the Castiga Prime. We've just been discussing this actually. What I don't understand is if you look in the, I don't know if it's an errata thing, it's going to be errata, I don't know if it's a, it's a thing that's wrong. Oh, sorry, oh, that's part seven. And no, it's part seven. Did it again. That's part seven. That's part eight. And again, the head needs to go in there. So while I'm doing that, I'll just start talking. I don't know if it's an errata thing. It's wrong, but in the, in the stone cast, eternal battle tom. Yeah. Yeah. It says about the castigators and there's three in mm -hmm. a squad like this. Yeah. There's three in a squad. But you get five in the box set, the starter set, and the main one. Well, one's a prime, aren't they? Yeah. So, and then the other two, well, the other four. Yeah. So, unless one's a special character or something, like, uh, got some. Time. I mean, you get different numbers in that one, It's because you get like three secretaries in one of the squads, don't you? Yeah. And in the book, it actually tells you uh, the points cost for using three in an army. But it doesn't tell you the points cost for using five castigators. I presume when they come out, they'll be in a box set of five. Mm. But they're not in the actual battle tome. They're only in threes. Mm. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Right, so we're just going to attach that to the base now. Unless there's something that we've read wrong or... Yeah, unless I'm missing something, in which case let me know in the comments. But it just, it just doesn't seem like things add up. For instance, in the night hall book, the glaive race, which we're going to put together after this, uh, they come in units of four, and there's four in this easy to build kit, which is correct. Then, there you go, that's how I got them. But you get five in the main box set, so you've got one extra. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm OCD like that, I can't have extra models left over. It has to be exactly the right size for that unit, or the multiple of that unit. So they have to come in fours, eight, twelve. That's how many models I want. I don't want 13 models or 11 models. I want 12 models. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit OCD like that. Uh, so this is part 12. I've got that one right this time. That's the back. I've got the front, uh, which is part 13, is that? Right. And again, it says about putting the head on first. I'm finding it easier to line them up with the back bit, to be honest. It's, um, I thought there was a little bit of stuff on that, there isn't. I don't think, anyway. I think there is, actually. That looks 
we are. The other two I found it easier to line up with the, with the back. All right, there you go. It does fit in like that. That's easier to line up with the back and stuff. Let's get a bit of glue on that. And then put that on there like so. And then we have a massive bowl thing which lobs holy hand grenades, whatever the hell they are. <laughs> Uh, that's going to go on there and there was a little bit of glue on there already so I'm just going to leave that to glue on like that she's awesome, look at that position she's in yeah. proper like, kick ass come at me bro come at me um, and that's how she goes on the base done There we go. So the Griffin's next. Mm -hmm. He's a unit on his own. Oh. I like the Griffin's. So we have the two sides of the body and we have the head. And again, you want the head needs to be put on pretty much at the same time. So it needs to line up in there. One thing I will say about the Griff Hound, there's like a little spike on the front. Yeah. The, Just be careful of that, it's sharper than the That is really sharp, so it's don't, very sharp. don't when you put them together push down at the front, otherwise you will end up with that in your finger. Yeah. And it's a sizeable little uh, spike that as well, as you can see. So be very careful with that. And then we have the two front feet and the two back. So there's two sockets for the front feet. And there's just like grooves for the back feet to go into. Okay, let's go in that. There we go. That's awesome. It's really nice. It's a, it's kind of like standing going, look what I've just done. <laughs> and I can't say enough good things about these easy to build kits either. Yeah, that was very quick. Yeah, that was infinitely quicker. That's why I have to edit more some videos because I'm sat there going, cut, cut, stick, wait. <laughs> yeah. But at least with the pegs, they're going to hold, hold that glue in place while that sets. Mm -hmm. If you're using glue, again, I don't entirely think you need to. So, are we on to the night hall stuff? We are now, your stuff. Let's have a look. And there are the screws. So yeah, there's two glove wrists on there, two glove wrists on there, isn't there? Yeah. That guy's awesome. Um, then we have... Banshees. Banshees, which one's first? Um, Banshees. Banshees it is. Banshees. Right, so there's the sprues. Again, not a lot of parts. Uh, Banshee one, two... And one, and four, and three. Make up that one. Two, five is five and six. Eight and seven. Make up number two, number three. It's got fifteen, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, and the last one, twelve, eleven, ten, and nine. So let's get all those parts off and ready to put together. Right. So here we are. We've got all the parts off. So obviously starting up here, we've got uh, part two, and that fixes to part one, and quite how that does it, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so that's the bottom, which is going to go into the base, and we have these two bits there, which fit into there, like that. Is that what that was telling me? I think it is, you know. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm. So that goes on there. That's what it seems to say. I'm not sure that's not going to stay on there, though. No, I don't think it will, will it? So you would have to, yeah. You would have to glue that then, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's... It's wedged in a little bit. Unless when you put the... 
It keeps it in place it from the other it, side. Yeah. Possibly. Let's have a look. Um, so that's those two bits. And the curl goes on. I suppose it could do. That bit could be keeping the rest of it in place. Well, I'm, not, I'm not as trusting on that as I am on the Stormcast. Yeah. Connections are. No, that's come off. Was it? Yeah, already. Oh, right. <laughs> that's with glue. Just trying to line that up. Yeah, that's that. I'm sorry, that needs to be glued. Um, what will keep that on though is the base, probably. But the, it's just keeping it together. Even on the base, those two parts are going to go. So yeah, let's put it on its base. Yeah, so the base is what keeps it together, really. The two yeah. parts, though. But that could easily just come ching ching ching. Otherwise, well, making it a bit more difficult if you're going to dry brush it at all because then um, you've not got as much control if it starts moving around too much so I think gluing that one's the better option anyway uh, well that aside that is a fantastic one <laughs> that's really cool just the, just the way that swoops around that's beautiful mm. as far as the model goes um, the little gripes are just really easy to build but um, not for, just, just for any of you guys who are just starting out really and it's said easy to build it is but that's not going to be very secure from my perspective I don't really like this model <laughs> make sure the head's on properly it is there's a little bit of a gap there which I will fill but other than that that's, that's beautiful <laughs> just, the, just the motion the way it yeah. twirls right moving on to the next one Stop gushing and move on to the next one. Uh, same thing. You have these two little bits there, which hold, are meant to hold that into place, and you have the two slots on the base, um, and you have the the cowl that goes over the top. So I'm just going to stick that one together. Um, I'm focusing on this. Um, next week, we know Kill Team is coming out for 40k. Mm -hmm. um, we won't be getting it. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's just cost, really. Um, that's the bottom line. Because all this Age of Sigma stuff's come out, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really all about Age of Sigma at the moment, fancy over um, 40k at the moment. Not I've got not I hate for care anything, there's no particular reason for that, it's just it's I'd rather play just Sigma and get the these guys all done and painted and everything. Mm. And we can't really afford to get the kill team. That's beautiful again. It's got that motion in it. So that's why you won't be seeing kill team on our, our channel next week. Doesn't mean we won't get it in the future. Cause I think it's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. I mean the last two times didn't go anywhere, but um <laughs> That's been the problem with it so far, Kill Team. Um, so we've got part 13 and 14 there. So those two parts go together. And again, we've got the base. That's why it's time for the base on the beginning, then, this one, I think. Um, so let's do that. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel that the last two times really supported Kill Team. I mean, obviously we had Kill Team with the Raven Guard and the Tau, mm -hmm. which we got and um, pretty much played once. And then we got Shadow War, yeah, which we got and never actually played the Kill Team part of it. Mm. The good thing about that was the terrain, and we did use the terrain in Forty K a lot. Um, but we never actually played that as a kill team variant at all. Um, 
this one, having looked through it today in Games Workshop, I got to open the box and have a look inside. It's, um, what goes in there? Natural. There's a hole there for that to go in, and then that connects up to that. Uh, so I just need to. Yeah, we had a look in the uh, box set, and the, um, the the buildings look really nice. They they're very um, intricate style, don't they? Very concentrating over there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, Try to push this into play. It's really difficult. <laughs> For what you get in the box set, it's a very nice box set, and you get a lot in it. Um, yeah, I just use the bottom of my knife just to push that in. Yeah. There we go. It's pretty cool. Again, that's awesome. The way that this just reminds you of like Raiders of the Lost Ark, the end of yeah. those things coming out of this, <laughs> and just just eating the uh, Nazis. Uh, yeah, we got to open the box, like you say, mm. and we. Um, had a look through it when we had a look at the board that you get with it. Mm -hmm. It looks just like this city fight board, but like a picture of it. That's, that's good. It's, it's the, nice. The yeah. um, the terrain is like the multi part city terrain, mm. but it looks nicer and crisper. Um, yeah, it's proper gothic. It's very gothic, like yeah. gothic cathedral esque. It, it looks really good. And then you get grey plastic, G steels, and red plastic, Admech. Mm. Uh, to go in there as well, and the building's like a beige colour. Yeah, it's, yeah, like a Rakar flesh colour. Mm. Um, then you've got your cards in there, and you get little data cards for your teams and stuff. As and well. a book for each team. Yeah. And the core rules, and the dice, and all the. A little ruler. A little ruler, and all the um, and the rules quite cool actually. It's orange with little like, industrial type white dots on it. Yeah, it's quite cool. Very similar to the one that you get in here. Yeah. That they seem to be doing that now. The plasticky ones. Um, yeah, I mean it looked nice, but I think they've bought it out at the wrong time. I think with it being so close to this stuff coming out, I think they should have waited until September after they do the Adeptus Titanicus as well. But there'll be people who are interested in Age of Sigma. They'll be rushing to grab that, and I don't blame them. Mm. Um, right, so 12 and 11, um, and that's 10, yeah, that's right, isn't it? 12 and 11 go together, there's actually a thing on there, perhaps a peg. Goes on there. And then 10 goes on the back, there's another peg for that. This one's a bit more secure. So, and then there are two again things on there. Which way round does this go? That way. Come on, in you go. Like that. Nice. She's pretty cool as well. She looks she? like she's coming out of just the grave, rising just out rising out. Of the uh, these guys just need a little bit of filing down around these edges and a little bit of filling going on. Just like the other Nighthorn stuff, really, to be honest. Mm. Those are awesome models. I really like them. Um, next up, and finally as well, Glaive Wraith. So, again, if you want to start cutting these off for us. Uh, two, one, three, ten, eleven, thirteen, and twelve. 14, 15, 17, and 16. And then 4 and 5. Also, we've got an option though. We've got an option of a drum or a, a halberd. Ah, oh, drum all the way. Uh, <laughs> 8 um, for that guy, yeah. And then 9 and 6 there. So let's get all these parts on. I think, yeah, I'd definitely go with a drum. Because I don't have a drummer. You must be able to take like a musician. Plus, I'd like to see him hit people with a drum. <laughs> be awesome. Okay, so the Glaive Wraiths, or the Flying Skaven, which is kind of what they look like. <laughs> flying Undead Skaven. One and two go together to make the first one. That's really easy. 
and we just have some bits of that. And those two go together, and then onto the base, which uh, I believe does it go that way around? It does, does it? And again, these bases are awesome. <laughs> I'm all for these cloaking bases. Sorry, I got some glue on myself though. And just dropped it. Yep. Too busy trying to put it together and I got glue all on myself. <laughs> there we go, we're in now. Just to make sure that fits properly. And we're on. There he is. Cool. Leverith 1, Leverith 2. <laughs> you don't even get names. Is these two parts. Like that. And then. This bit's base, isn't it? Yeah. Base McGuffin. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's like a done dead bird on it. Yeah. Like carrying. Flipping things all over the place. Mm. So. Now. This is why we should really pay more attention. I think that's, that's, that's so cool. Mm. Like a bird coming off as well. Gives it a bit more. There's a lot of character to that. Yeah. Because they are pretty static and cookie cutter type models, mm. these glaive rays, but it just adds a little bit more to them. Um, right, so. I think it was that one. This one. So what have we got here? No, it's not, is it? It's that one, sorry. Well, yeah. Because you're trying to confuse because me. Because they all flick down. <laughs> right, so we have uh, that bit there. Just going to fit onto that. Just on that. I think that's one of the picture that you said about um, on one of the cards. You said, oh, this this picture doesn't look like any of the box, the, the no, models in the box set. It didn't. And it's that one, it's because one, yeah. he's got his, his glaive on his shoulder kind of thing reaching out. Yeah. Sorry, I just saw, saw something I used to take off the left on that one as well. There we go, that's that guy. And then again with the two prongs on the base. I forgot where they go, they must go there. He says. Yeah, they do. The two prongs go there. Like right that. Before we put that on, this bit of wall goes on there. Like that. And then this goes on there. Just convincing it to go in. Is it the right way around or is it that way around? That'll be why. There we go. Pure awesomeness. I think he's the leader, isn't he? I'll say so. Lots of lots and then we have about four and five. Again, these little bits are quite brittle. 
So if you notice anything before you stick it together, get it off immediately. Um, it's easier than trying to ping it off while. I'm whispering to myself now. Fortunately, you, you've, you've not heard me do any singing, so that's... Yeah, there is time. It's not going to happen today. Too busy concentrating. So that goes in there like that. And you can either have him as a glaive wraith with the glaive, or as a drummer, by the looks of it, with the drum, which is what he's going to have. A little bit of it, painting on there as well. And what colours to use? Deepkin flesh. Ooh, is that what I've used? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to paint them yet, so there we go. So those are all the models. As we said right at the beginning, it's the four easy to build sets they brought out when they re released. Second edition of Age of Sigma. Just a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nearly half the price. Mm. There we go. So I think the the well worth investment if you're collecting either of these armies. Mm. Uh, if you're not new to Age of Sigma and you've bought the main set, no, it's, it's probably unless you like the models. It's probably not worth getting. But if you're interested in either of the armies, it's probably worth getting this set. For cheapness. For cheapness. Or if you know a friend, you can always do swapsies. Because having more of these guys would be awesome. They're coming fours. They're coming fours in the codex. Mm -hmm. um, these come in fives, like I mentioned earlier. These come in sixes and these come in fives. These come in fives, those come in threes. Threes, That's yeah. That's right. In the, in the tome. Mm -hmm. I keep saying codex. In the tome. But um, I'm not sure if that's going to be a rask because there's no thing for a squad of five of these. We've not got it lying around, have we? No, we haven't. Just so I could yeah. complain bitterly. What's that? We'll have a look, Chloe. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to fall. It's all right. So what happens when you set things on top of things. Yeah. Yeah. So if I've missed something, guys, you just please tell me in the comments with this. But uh, castigators, three of them, not a five. And you get five in the main box set. You get three in this. It just seems odd. It's an odd number. Mm. Anyway, there we go. This is about storm strike, and I think it's an awesome little set. If you if you're just starting off in Age of Sigma. This is definitely a go-to set to start with. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. If um, you're a veteran player and you play out of these armies, the, just, the model's well worth getting. If you just like models, the model's well worth getting. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to go away and just tidy these up by putting some filling on them. Maybe a little bit on this guy's hood. That's it. Stormcasts are perfect, really, to be honest. They don't, need, okay, they don't yeah. need any filling. They've got really good joins on them as well. I just need to file that shoulder down a little bit. Mm. Other than that, I'm just being a perfectionist now. That's that's the that's the set. Yeah. So we like it. I think. Okay. Yeah, I I'm I'm well pleased with my little cool. add-ons there. Yep. Yeah. Um, as we said, as we were saying, while well, we're putting them together next week, we're not won't be getting the kill team um, stuff uh, unless we win the lottery or someone donates them to us. Something like that, you mm -hmm. know. But other than that, we won't be, won't be getting the kill team stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we will probably get it next month, but it'll depend on what else is out next month because we've heard Adeptus Titanicus is out next month. Uh, I need to do a little bit more research into that because I used to really like the original. <laughs> but then I used to really like the original Warhammer Quest. So <laughs> yeah, and look how that turned out. Yes. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's just a completely different game. The new Armor Quest is its own game in its own realm with its own settings and its own rules. 
and I know people like it for its ease of use, but for for a quest game, for one, I want the intricate detail. That's the kind of game where I want the sort of D and D side of me to start creeping back in. <laughs> uh, for a game like this, I'd prefer it to be simpler. Mm. You know, it's different different things. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we'll see what the new ones like. I'll, I'll probably read a few rumors and stuff before I decide. Um, but stay tuned for more Age of Sigmar stuff. Claire is frantically painting her storm cast. I am. I finished the Night Hunt, which you may have seen in previous videos, and I'm doing the objectives. Um, you know, the objectives, like that thing from... Those kind of objectives. I'm finishing those off and painting some other little bits. I'm just waiting for them. <laughs> You're getting it in there. Yeah, but I need to do these ones there as well, so at least I've got something else to do on. I've got a bit of booming space. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you're holding me up anyway, I need to go and paint. Yes, that's true. Okay, we'll do that then. <laughs> okay, so you guys take care. Please like and subscribe, it helps out loads, and the more people that subscribe, the more views we get, the more videos we can do, basically. Yeah. So. Uh, tell your friends about us basically and spread the word. Other than that, if you've enjoyed this and you're not already subscribed, please do. Please throw a like on that and we shall see you guys later. See you later. Bye for now. I'm off to paint. Yeah, you better be. <laughs>